How I lost 60 pounds in 2021. Happy New Year's 2022 by Reppin' Time Fitness. If you ain't already subscribed, this is going to be a video that's going to make you subscribe. Let's go shopping, man. All right, y'all, we at Walmart. I decided to do this video POV style because I ain't done a video POV style in a while. Um, I've been showing my face in the last 85 videos, but everybody that know me that's used to this channel, Rapid Time Fitness, we do a lot of POV style because I want y'all to show the action first. You know what I'm saying? You ever played like a, a game, video game, like Perfect Dark or back in the days, 007 or whatever? I be wanting to give y'all that feel, you feel me? Especially if y'all haven't seen my walking talk cardio videos. If you haven't, you need to go see them. But yeah, this is going to be a good one, man. So stay tuned through the whole video. Cause at the end, I already recorded the end. Um, the end, I got information for y'all. This is just the shopping part. So you always gotta watch Rapid Time Fitness videos to the end because a lot of times I'll be like having like, I need to stop doing that, but I'm gonna do it this last time. But I'm gonna stop, uh, I'm gonna start having like all the best stuff in the beginning. But whatever, man, let's go shopping. Got to wipe this off. I don't want that stuff on me. Yeah, buddy. Dog, I'm like, man. Ooh, open Sesame Street. All right, let me show y'all my shopping list. Said this video is gonna be so good. I actually wrote a script, but then I got my shopping stuff right here. Show y'all what I'm gonna get. Hey, right, y'all. I'm gonna just show y'all what I'm gonna get first. But then at the end of the video, I'll give y'all a breakdown. I got two of these 32 ounces of watermelons. And I got baby spinach. I got uh, bananas. I will get some peanut butter and jelly. I got something at home, but right now at the low calories that I'm at right now, trying to lose the last four pounds, um, I really can't afford peanut butter. Not money wise, but I'm saying as in calorie wise. I always tell people count your calories like you count your money and be serious you have to be serious if you're not serious about your diet then guess what you're not gonna lose weight stop saying things don't matter also broke down a lot of things that i be saying like that and why i be saying that right so you gotta watch the whole video but uh for instance sauce and ranch and all that you gotta count that i'm getting some beans um i get a, i always get all of them the lentils have the less calories, so those are for days that I barely have any calories left. If I don't have enough calories left, I won't eat, straight up. I make sure I eat all the calories that I'm shooting for, though, so I'm not starving. Even though I'm on very low calories, I am lean. So, so even though I'm on very low calories, me being so lean, I'm not starving. Ice. Got rice, got beans and rice. Yes, I eat carbs. I do eat carbs. I don't do keto. I don't do keto. Not one part of my diet. I think the only way I would even do keto if I was like doing a bodybuilding show and I wanted to lose my water weight. I might do it one day like um, before a uh, physique update. Water weight only. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I'll probably be shredded. I gotta get the rest of this stuff. I'm kinda in a rush, so I'll probably get all this stuff and then tell y'all it, it once. I just got off work. Yeah, I do 12 and a half hours, so it's different for me. All right, y'all, I got some fat-free cheese. I got mozzarella and I got cheddar. Um, No, I'm not scared of fat, but let me show you. 45 calories per serving because there's no carbs. Not scared of carbs, by the way. I thought you didn't like, dude. When you're on low calories, you have to watch. Everything has, okay, protein, fats, carbs. They all have calories. Fats have the most calories. So being fat-free is cutting out more calories. Never mind, man. Let's keep shopping. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna break all that down in the end of the video. I've already shot the end of the video, so make sure y'all stick. Do the end of the video. It's hard to do that stuff in the store. People in here, man. God damn, I'm wet. I'm not even talking to you. <laughs> I 
All right, I'm gonna give me some energy drinks. Um, I usually do Bang. I like Bang because it does have some creatine in it. How much creatine, I don't know. But when I forget to take my creatine, I don't feel so bad when I drink a Bang. But I've been on my creatine lately. So uh, I'm gonna get these Rises. These Rises by Mountain Dew are delicious. And they're only 25 calories where a Bang is zero calories, which nothing is really usually zero calories. They just round down. You know what I'm saying? I told somebody that when I was talking about oil spray one time. When you spray oil, instead of using oil, it's zero calories. No, oil is fat. It's just so light when you spray it compared to when you pour in it. They have the right to round down. If you look at pickles, pickles say that they zero calories. They're not zero. Man, dog, man, dog, dog. I'm going to break that down at the end of the video. Because if I keep talking to y'all while I'm in the store, people that walk next to me, they're going to think I'm talking to them, and then I'm going to get in a conversation. I hate conversations. Y'all know me, man. Like, meaningless. The way you weren't even talking to me, why you talking to me? Yogurt. Y'all seen my yogurt videos, so y'all already know which yogurts and why I use them. And if you haven't seen my yogurt videos, go ahead and watch them after you watch this. But I'm just saying, man, I'm going to get out of here. I'm not even going to get everything on the list. I done got into like 15 conversations already, man. I'm not, man, I'm not about to be dealing with that. You know what I'm saying? I should get some oatmeal. I ain't had oatmeal in years. Ah, so funny. Yeah, if I get out of here, the one thing I need, though, is get some water. I'm good. As long as I can eat and I'm good for the day and tomorrow, I am good. Oh, by the way, um... I do high volume eating, so even though I'm on 1,500 calories, I'm going to stay fuller than a lot of people. Type in Rapid Time Fitness high volume eating so you can see the meals that I eat with low calorie. No matter of fact, you don't even got to do that. Do that later if you want to, if you all good, but I'm going to, my breakdown explains all of that. Been on these lately, um, these little salmon packs. Of course, I'd rather go and get some fish, but um, it's easy for me to count my calories with these. See, look, 150 calories. These are, one of them is 100 calories, things like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Get your omegas and stuff like that. Easy. It's easy to count your calories when you see it on there. You just add it up. You know what I'm saying? Add up your calories throughout the day. First thing you eat to the last thing you eat. It all adds up. So if I'm on 2,000 calories, 3,000 calories, whatever, I don't stop counting until I stop eating when I reach that amount of calories. I'm going to get more than that. Let me get some of these ones and some of these ones. Yep. I'm one of the people that be hoarding up all the stuff. But yeah, man. I got some bread. Yep, I eat bread. And people are like, how you eat that? And how you do this? And how you... Dog, don't ask me how I be doing stuff without watching my cooking videos. I got videos showing you exactly what I be doing, man. Like, dog, it's, man, I'm getting kind of mad. Not at you, but I'm just saying, like, people that I personally know, they be asking me for advice, and they be literally telling me, oh, I want to watch the video, though. But, man, I'm not about to give you advice, man. I'm going to scratch my... I'm going to scratch your back and my back stay itching. Man, dog, you tripping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, YouTube. I'm on my way to Walmart. Um, All right, YouTube. I'm on my way to Walmart. Oh my gosh. Phone bill. I don't know if it's still recording. But God dang. All right, I'm not editing that out either. All right, YouTube. I'm back. All right. I'm going to find a parking spot. Got a lot to talk to y'all about. You know what I'm saying? I just got off work. Matter of fact, I'm going to pull up right here. I'm going to park closer, but I'm going to pull up right here for now. So I know a lot of people can't wait to hear this information from your boy rapping, rapping Time Fitness. Well, I've been writing things down because I'm trying to switch things up for y'all instead of just freestyling my videos off the top of my head i'm gonna take a shot at writing things down this video right here is called and i know y'all probably can't read my chicken scratch but i used to be a rapper and um 
us rappers, we write things down, we write down our bars, and, and we only writing it for ourselves. So it don't matter if somebody else can read it. But I didn't really expect to do this, you know, this way. But I'm going to, you know, check, take a shot at this. This is how I lost 60 pounds in 2021. Happy New Year's, even though I don't celebrate holidays. New Year's is the same day for me as any other day. I don't even care. But I know everybody else do, so I'm doing this. Happy New Year's 2022 from your boy, Reppin' Time Fitness. Here's my shopping list for today. Um, my shopping list is a little more strict than usual because I'm down to 152 pounds. And like I've been telling people for years, you get stricter as you get leaner. You do not have to be strict at the beginning of your diet. I'm trying to tell you baby steps. This is a marathon. You start off fast. You be wheezing in the back. Do not bite off more than you can chew. But I wanted to tell y'all a few tips. These are um, stop doing quick fixes. Um, let these t wait no. Oh my gosh, I can't read my own chicken scratch. Oh. I took a very slow and steady approach. This is how I lost the weight. I took a very slow and steady approach, which most people are afraid to do. They rather struggle for years. I meant to put an S. They rather struggle for years with quick fixes. Um, let this be the year you stop doing that. Allow me to show you. Stop starving yourself. Have a balanced diet. Don't cut out food groups, all right? I mean, you could do that if you want to, but I'm just saying, man. I'm just trying to tell you the ways I do things. You know what I'm saying? Um, Right now, I'm at only 1,500 calories a day, which is very low for me. But I'm trying to lose these last little four or five pounds before New Year's. I've been telling people for a long time, don't wait until New Year's. Um, yes, that do sound like a low, very low amount of calories, but you got to remember I'm only 152 pounds. The lower you weigh, the lower your calories are going to be. That's why, and I'm a very muscular man, but I'm eating what a, a woman would usually eat right now. But that's just temporary. That's just at the very end of my diet. I'm trying to tell people. I was eating like 3,000 and something at the beginning of my diet. And I gradually cut down. I've been cutting for a year. I took the slow and steady route. With diet breaks in between. I have the video still up. Nobody listens to me, man. I know y'all listen. Let me cut the light on my phone. Oh. These are just tips. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Uh, so stop biting off more than you can chew. Do not go on just starvation diets. Do not go, okay, let's say you're eating 3,000 calories right now. You see me eating 1,500. Don't just start eating 1,500. Don't cut your calories in half. You're going to be starving and you're going to binge eat because there's only so much willpower, even for myself or anybody who's been, I have way more discipline than the average person way more that's how i'm doing this but i built that discipline i did not bite off more than i can chew i tried that before it didn't work for me it's not gonna work for anybody else it actually worked for you hold on wait stop saying whatever works works for me if it actually worked for you then you will have reached your goals by now and that's no diss. But I'm saying, everybody always say things like, oh, it works for me, or it don't work for me, or, or if I mess up, it don't matter. That means you really don't have goals. I mean, at the end of the day, just be a real, have realistic goals. Have realistic goals. What does that mean? A lot of guys, and I vouch for it because I used to be the same dude at the end of the day. A lot of guys think they're going to be 200 and something pounds, all muscle, shredded. That's not going to happen. The majority of natural lifters will never... I'm 152 pounds, and I'm way more muscular than a lot of people that I know that's sitting at like two-something right now because I don't have body fat at all, barely. You know what I'm saying? I am very low 
I'm single digit. Yeah. If you look at my last physique update, you might say, oh, you ain't that much. You close to single digit. I am leaner than that right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting until New Year's to show y'all my, neck, my physique update now. It is drastically different. And I'm not bragging. I'm just telling you. you could do, I'm teaching you how to do this. All right? Belly fat isn't the only fat on your body, which means you cannot spot reduce. Uh, everybody's talking about they want to just lose their stomach. I want to lose my stomach. I want to lose my stomach. It doesn't work like that. And I'm glad it doesn't work like that. Because just imagine if you lost your stomach and kept all the rest of your body fat on your arms, on your back, on your legs. That wouldn't even look... You got a shredded stomach, but... Dog, realistic goals, man. <laughs> like, man, it be making me mad. Don't tell nobody... God damn it. Alright, I was really interrupted by a phone call, but, uh, yeah. Don't tell nobody who has reached all of your goals what they should be doing like you'd be surprised how many people be giving me fitness advice ask me for fitness advice and won't let me tell them and then they give me some i i can't talk to you <laughs> get away from me you know what i'm saying so okay that's another one it's not going to happen overnight Stop all these overnight gimmicks and I'm going to mix this drink with that drink and then in, in my sleep, I'm going to just lose all my weight. That does not work. Back to what I was saying about the slow and steady route. The slow and steady route, most people are afraid to take the slow and steady route, which actually works. Instead of overnight quick fix, because they, oh, it's going to take a slow, it's slow. No, it's not. Because at the end of the day, what took me one year I was already ha half a year. I was already halfway there. So at half a year, I lost 30 pounds. I'm losing slow because I want to keep my muscle. You know what I'm saying? I could lose a lot faster than that. If you lose weight very fast, you're most likely losing your hard-earned muscle. And if you don't care about muscle, you will when you lose the weight. Because at the end of the day, if I would have lost 60 pounds and didn't care if it was fat or muscle, just I just want to lose the weight, guess what? I would still be fat right now. Even though I would have lost 60 pounds. Why? Because it would have been muscle. <laughs> and I would have I'd have been bony and I, mean, I would have been skinny fat. I would have kept all of my fat, lost all of my muscle. You got to remember. You got muscle, water, and fat. That's the three things we're trying to manipulate when it comes to weight loss. Muscle, water, and fat. If you're not losing fat, you're just either losing water or you're losing water and or muscle. Maybe a little bit of fat. Who knows? That's why I tell people about the keto diet. The keto diet is not good for fat loss. It's not. Now, if you're in a caloric deficit, you're going to lose fat regardless of what diet you pick. So, yes, you can lose fat on a keto diet, but keto does not make you lose more fat than any other diet. It makes you lose water weight. Yes, you're going to lose 20 or 10 pounds, 10 to 20 pounds of water weight within your first few weeks. And it's going to come right back. Water fluctuates. Carbs, whole water, carbohydrates. All right. So here's my shopping list for today. I'm going to go ahead and take you all in there. And, um. Let me see, I got watermelon, I got spinach, bread. Yep, I eat carbs, beans, potatoes. I ate bread almost every day on my cut. Soda, candy, yogurt, water, cheese, bang energy, rice, bananas, chicken, beef, eggs, oil spray. Um, I also wrote, I'm gonna take more time on my other one I wrote. Um, stop doing tricks and gimmicks. Remember, my name is Rapping. Rapping Time Fitness. Remember, Rapping Time Fitness told you these things. There's nothing on the back. So I guess this video, I was supposed to just go and shop for y'all. Oh, I'm eating 1,500 calories per day into New Year's. Not forever. Into New Year's. A diet is not supposed to last forever. A diet is to a deadline. You lose the weight. Um, maybe you still got more weight to lose, give or take. Who knows? I, I'm done. I'm, I'll have no more weight to lose after this. I was actually, I've been done. I just decided to keep going. 
because I know a lot of people wanted to see New Year's things like that, and I wanted to motivate people. So I've been done. I, my goal wasn't 150. I'm trying to get down to 147, 148, really, by New Year's. I'm 152. So you know what I'm saying? So I'm eating 1,500 calories a day into New Year's to lose four pounds by New Year. Um, my goal was in the summer... 160 I forget I don't even remember but I reach all my goals I never miss I never miss weight at all I never have and I never will why because I know how to find my maintenance calories I didn't even write that down on here but I'm gonna tell y'all real quick how to find your maintenance calories I'm gonna probably put this at the end of the video because I don't even know who all gonna watch this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all me shopping. And I'm gonna show y'all me buying these things. Um, each shopping video that I have is way different. If you look at the shopping videos I had before the summer, it was totally different. And each each one changed. As I lose weight, it changes. My foods, they, they stay the same, but they might change slightly. But of course, the calorie amount. Calories in versus calories out. Calories in means what you eat. Calories out means what you burn. Um, that changes. Your maintenance calories, caloric deficit, that's going to change as you lose weight. There was no way I was eating 1,500 calories when I was two, 210 or whatever I was. I don't even remember what I was starting this year. I don't even remember what I was. And I'm talking about I left 60 pounds. Yeah, I did. I remember what I was. Go back to my uh, videos when I started my cut. I know I was like 210 or 2 something. I forget. But I wasn't eating no 1,500 calories when I started my cut. I think when I started my cut, I was eating like 3,000. Then I went down to 28. Then I went down to 26. But do not go down on your calories. Find your maintenance. Get into a deficit. Stick at those calories until your weight loss stops. Do not cut more calories until your weight loss stops. Because you want those calories to keep you full. You see what I'm saying? That way you don't even feel like you're on a diet. That way you're not struggling. You're not starving. You can have freedom with your food. You know what I'm saying? You can have... If you got... 2,800 calories to eat. You can have fast food a little bit. You can have donuts a little bit. Just make sure you count every calorie that you put in your face, including your drinks and your sauces. That's the biggest thing people make mistakes on. Is they count their food, but they don't. They, a lot of people miscount their food. They don't know how to count it. And I got videos teach you that how to find your maintenance calories real quick off the top of my head before I go in the store is. You find your maintenance calories by the easiest way. I'm not even going to give you the harder ways because you are a beginner. Beginners do not need to stop jumping the gun. Stop trying to stop trying to do advanced things when you just started losing weight. It doesn't make sense. That's like playing chess and using your, your queen and your king already. You know what I'm saying? You just started. Man, get the... Bro, that's, that's what you're doing. All right? <laughs> Finding your maintenance calories the easy way. It's not the most accurate way, but it's the easiest way. Look at how much food you eat every day. Every, we're, we're creatures of habit, most of us. Most of us are eating roughly, give or take, around the same calories every day anyways, even if you don't count calories. Take yourself through one of your days when you first eat to where you're done eating. What did you eat yesterday, basically? What did you eat yesterday? Find out how many calories were in the foods that you ate yesterday. Add that up. If you're not really good at adding up calories, you might be off, but whatever. It might not be that much off. Try your best. You will most likely get in the ballpark. Now, out of those calories, how many calories do you think you can cut without being... Most people is probably give or take 200 calories. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 200, take 200 calories away from that. Let's say you ate 2,000 calories, right? Okay, now eat 1,800. Eat that every day 
check the scale see if it actually moves if it moves down two pounds or whatever your first week it might move more than two pounds it might move three or four but i'm saying i personally shoot for about two pounds a week of weight loss all right um also i had this other video so this right here is another piece of paper i'm saving for tomorrow um when i get to the gym and uh that's a whole nother video but on this video i'm trying to tell you man so that's how you find your maintenance calories find out what you're eating now and then go if you're at the same matter of fact i missed one part if you're at the same weight every day give or take then you're eating your maintenance calories right now now you need to get into a deficit by taking away some of those calories or moving more let's say you don't barely move you sit on the couch i don't know you i'm not dissing but let's say you don't do nothing you can eat the same amount of calories you eat now and just move more and you will start your weight loss now yes at the while that weight loss will stall then you're gonna have to make adjustments that's like driving a car when you driving straight you're not just the, the steering wheel is going to adjust no matter if you drive it straight or not if you never adjust your steering wheel and you just drive you're going to crash your car is going to be over one way or the other you know what i'm saying that's exactly how dieting is so comment like subscribe share holla back at your boy i'm about to go ahead in here and shop um, I just got off work, but I do want to work out in the morning. I do 12 and a half hours. That's why this video is like this instead of how I'm usually with my face and all that. I'm tired. and I'm just, I don't have time, man. I mean, you might have way more time than me. A lot of people got more time to do things better than me, but I'm going to take my time out to talk to y'all because, yeah, hey, I'm, I'm so far in this YouTube thing. I've been doing it for three years. I'm pretty much obligated to tell y'all the ones that, that, that really listen to me. You know, the ones that don't listen to me and whatever, man, get out of my face. Don't get out of my face. I need that watch time. But, um, yeah, man, Come like, subscribe, share, and holla back at your boy. This is how I lost 60 pounds this year. Now, let's go in here and shop. This is going to be before. How I lost 60 pounds in 2021. Happy New Year's 2022. By Reppin' Time Fitness. If you ain't already subscribed, this is going to be a video that's going to make you subscribe. Let's go shopping, man. All right, y'all. Even though I had a shopping list, I still, like, I decided to not get some of the stuff because I was in a rush. But one of the staple things that I wanted to get was potatoes. Like I say, I eat carbs, but I'm not scared of any carb, man. But at the end of the day, um, I was going to get some potatoes because potatoes out of all the carby foods, um, your bread, your rice, whatever, potatoes are your best because volume. Um, you have less calories for more food. You know what I'm saying? So, man, it kills me, man. It's the best for cutting. I'm not going to say the best. I'm just saying for cutting out of bread, potatoes, rice, uh, oatmeal, uh, whatever. Um, but what I... What I'm trying to say is, people get on my nerves, man. I'm eating banana. People get on my nerves, man. Like, I don't even know you. Whenever you're doing something, people want to stop you from doing it. It happens everywhere you go, and it gets dangerous. Like, okay, I make little mistakes because of people getting in my way. But when you're in the gym and people get in your way, those little mistakes can cause you everything. Not just working out, not just your gains, not just your fat loss. 